Let's learn how to make a baffle from a number 10 can and steel duct pipe. Hi, it's Jeff with the Backyard Birds channel. I've been providing nest boxes for native birds since 2012 and want to share with you what I've learned. My nest boxes were safe from raccoons and cats because they were mounted on 10-foot telescoping poles made of EMT conduit. But predators like squirrels and snakes were able to climb the poles to reach my nest boxes. After experimenting, I found the best solution was the canned duct pipe baffle combined with the 10-foot telescoping pole. Once I added the baffle to the pole, I no longer had a problem with climbing predators. To see how to make a telescoping pole that the baffle hangs on, follow the link at the top of the video. For more videos like this, you may want to subscribe to my channel. Let's look at the materials we need to create the baffle. An empty number 10 can with the label removed is used for the top of the baffle. A number 10 can is about 7 inches tall and 6 inches in diameter. You can find these at school cafeterias or other places that make large quantities of food. A 24 inch long, 6 inch round steel duct pipe made of 30 gauge sheet metal is used for the body of the baffle. Two number 10 half inch sheet metal screws are used to attach the can to the pipe. A conduit hanger is attached to the pole and supports the baffle. Look for links to the materials in the video description. Let's cover the tools we need to make the baffle. A 1 8 inch titanium drill bit is needed to drill through the can and pipe. A prick punch is used to poke holes in the can. A rubber mallet is used to hit the punch. A handheld drill is used for drilling the holes. A 1 inch board about 12 inches long is used as a brace when punching the holes. A 1 and a quarter inch thin wall hole saw is used to cut a hole in the top of the can. A ruler and permanent marker are used to mark the can for the holes. A shop magnet is used to pick up metal shavings from cutting the hole. Links to the tools can be found in the video description. To fasten the duct pipe to the can, we need to make two small holes in the can. Before we start, remove the label from the can. To make a guide hole for the drill bit, we use the prick punch. To punch a hole in the can, we need a wooden brace. Place the one inch board in a vise with about eight inches sticking out. Mark the can about three quarters of an inch from the end with the marker. Place another mark on the opposite side of the can three quarters of an inch from the end. Slide the can onto the board and rotate it so one mark lies above the board. To punch a hole in the can, place the tip of the punch on the mark and tap it with the mallet. Turn the can to the opposite side and punch another hole. To make the holes the correct diameter for the sheet metal screws, drill out the holes with a 1 8 inch titanium drill bit. The can is now ready to have a hole drilled in its top. To make the hole in the top of the can, we use the metal hole saw. A hole is punched in the center of the can as a guide for the hole saw. Hold the can with your feet, place the drill bit on the guide hole, and slowly drill the hole through the can. Empty the metal shavings from the can onto the ground. Place a plastic bag over the magnet and pick up the metal shavings. The bag along with the shavings can be removed from the magnet and thrown away. The can is now ready to be attached to the duct pipe. To assemble the baffle, snap the ends of the duct pipe together. Slide the can over the top of the pipe. Line up the drill bit in one of the holes in the can and drill a hole through the pipe. Place a sheet metal screw in the hole, screwing it down tight. Turn the baffle over, drill the other hole through the pipe, and fasten with a screw. The baffle is now complete and ready to be hung on the pole. To hang the baffle on a pole, we use a conduit hanger. Use a 3 quarter inch or a 1 inch conduit hanger depending on the size of the conduit. Place the conduit hanger on the conduit pole and tighten. Slip the baffle over the conduit so that it hangs on the conduit hanger. With the baffle in place, climbing predators will not be able to reach the nest box. Let me share with you how I use the baffle. I use a number 10 can by itself on all of my poles to prevent squirrels from destroying the nest boxes. But when birds begin nesting in a nest box, I remove the can and replace it with the can duct pipe baffle. Since I started using the baffle, climbing predators have not been a problem with my nest boxes. I've also used it on poles with bird feeders. I hope this baffle helps you prevent climbing predators from reaching your nest boxes. 
Hi, I'm Jeff with the Backyard Birds channel. If you like this video and want to see more like it, you may want to subscribe to my channel. Just click the red subscribe button below the video. To be notified of new videos, be sure to click the bell widget next to the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on the Backyard Birds channel.